have a question for you today. How much is your daily intake of sugar? Do you prefer having it in your daily cup of tea or coffee? We love the taste of it, right? But the harsh truth here is something that we already know. That sugar is considered as the major contributing factor for the increased risk of obesity since it adds caloric value to the food and its prevalence has increased evidently over the past few decades. It is considered as the major cause of comorbidities leading to diabetes, cardiovascular disorders, hypertension, certain types of cancer and even other health problems. Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues Journal Club, your daily dose of health and medical news. I am Dr. Nandita Mohan and today I will be discussing about the myths about non-caloric sweeteners that are recent substitutes for sugars. Non-nutritive sweeteners are used to substitute sugar in the diet and are usually and rather approved by regulatory bodies in many countries including the Food and Agriculture Organization, the World Health Organization even. Now, non-nutritive sweeteners are here to stay as it is an effective strategy to reduce sugar and caloric intake which is a public health priority today. So, it is a tool to increase dietary compliance in the management of obesity and diabetes and is a partner for fitness seekers. However, the debate on the safety and efficacy still continues, including several myths that have been associated with its usage. The review that I'm going to talk about today is published in the Journal of the Associations of Physicians of India, which has evaluated scientific literature in depth and concludes that non-nutritive sweeteners are safe to use within an acceptable daily intake. Non-nutritive sweeteners are beneficial for their intended use, including weight management protocols and diabetes control when consumed as a part of your dietary management program. The current data does not provide sufficient evidence that non-nutritive sweeteners can affect the gut microbiome per se and more research is definitely required. The researchers through their review have said that there is need for more randomized control trials among the Indian population particularly on the impact of sugar reduction with non-nutritive sweeteners and its health benefits to strengthen the evidence for its use in medical nutrition management and preventive health, helping the individual make an informed choice. Several regulatory bodies, like as I previously mentioned, the FAO as well as the WHO, have deemed that safe use of non-nutritive sweeteners in adults, even including pregnant ladies and children when consumed within the acceptable daily intake. The mere replacement of sugars in daily beverages or as a tabletop sweetener, it hardly increases the chance to exceed the acceptable daily intake. So yes, non-nutritive sweeteners are here to stay as it is an effective strategy to reduce sugar and caloric intake. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe, and press the bell icon.